Hi, I'm Diane Grover, cosmetic chemist trainer and assessor here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Radiance Facial Cleanser. Now, let me show you just how easy it is. So this is the beautiful Radiance Facial Cleanser that we're going to make today. Just pour a little bit off, a little bit of water. It's full of beautiful actives like niacinamide and pyro, beautiful pear extract to give you beautiful, bright, radiant skin every day when you cleanse your face. Now let's get to it. Okay, so for today's formula, we will start with a non-ionic surfactant to solubilize the essential oils. It's important to solubilize the essential oils as they are lipophilic, while the surfactant system is mostly aqueous. So uh, without proper solubilization, we'll get layering and cloudiness or floating oil drops on our formula. The essential oils I'm using today are neroli and frankincense. Both are luxe oils chosen for their skin beneficial properties. Neroli helps to refine the skin's texture, reduce dullness and improve overall luminosity, especially when used consistently. It also contains natural antioxidants which help to neutralize free radicals that cause dullness, pigmentation and early aging on the skin. And frankincense I have chosen for its skin regenerating properties which include fading of dark spots and hyperpigmentation and smoothing fine lines and scars. It also has a mild toning and tightening effect on the skin which can make pores appear smaller and skin surface smoother and it's also full of antioxidants which support long-term glow by preventing collagen breakdown and discoloration. So we just pop those into our solubilizer first. And because we don't have any heating in this formula, I can also pop my vitamin E in now. So the tocopherol will protect the essential oils from oxidation. Now I have an anionic surfactant that provides excellent cleansing power, helping to remove sweat, pollutants and dead skin which can cause the skin to look dull. And I'm going to add that to an amphitoric surfactant which will boost the mildness of my cleanser. Okay, so once I have combined my surfactants, then I'll put my solubilized essential oils into the surfactant mix. Now I'm just going to combine them, just gently stirring under low shear so they don't create bubbles. So now I'll combine my water phase. This is pyro, which is a water soluble pear extract that is rich in antioxidants. It's actually higher in antioxidants than both vitamin C and coenzyme Q10. You can use it as a water replacement in most aqueous formulas to give your formula an antioxidant boost, which we know helps to keep the skin looking bright, healthy and youthful. For the best results, pair this Radiance cleanser with other Radiance products like moisturizers and serums and some niacinamide, which is a water-soluble active that helps to inhibit melanin transfer to skin cells, which means it visibly evens out skin tone over time. Even in rinse-off formulations, regular use leaves the skin looking clearer, more even, and naturally radiant. So we'll just pop that into the water phase. And now for some glycerin and xanthan gum. Just going to create a little slurry with that first. Now I'm going to combine my water with my surfactants before I put the glycerin and xanthan in. So just popping the surfactants now into the water phase. Going to gently stir them until they're combined. Once the surfactant and the water phase are nicely combined together, we will add the glycerin and the xanthan slurry. And just gently stir that in. The glycerin and xanthan gum 
We'll just give our facial cleanser some viscosity and body. And I'll just add in a broad spectrum preservative to stop any microbial growth. Okay, now we will just check and adjust the pH. After you've adjusted the pH of your formula, if you'd like to thicken your face cleanser further, then because we've used salt responsive surfactant, you can use some sodium chloride to further thicken the formula. I'm just going to put a touch in to thicken mine a little bit more. Just make sure you're going in really small increments. You don't want to overshoot the mark because it can make your formula water thin if you put too much sodium chloride in it. Okay, so once you're happy with the viscosity of your face cleanser, you can pour it off. And it's that simple to make a radiant facial cleanser. See? And that's how easy it is to make a radiant facial cleanser. If you like today's formula, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on videos just like this. And email us at info at personalcarescience.com.au for more free formulas. Happy formulating!